Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and today I'm going to show you how I make kettle corn on my fire brick rocket stove. I know what you're thinking. Finally, something other than eggs. I hear you. But I'm not just using any kind of popcorn. I'm using Burrow Mountain popcorn that I grew myself. If you can count an ear and a half as growing it yourself. This is actually an ancient popcorn from Mexico that was used by the Aztecs. It was thought to be extinct, but then a farmer found a jar of it that had been stored for probably 600 to 1,000 years. He planted it and it grew. It's the power of a seed. There are small ears about this size. They can get about six inches long. This is about four, so about that long. I'm also using my Great Northern Popcorn Popper, which I picked up on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. And that'll allow me to turn the kernels while they're popping so they don't burn. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the ingredients. It happened a little faster than I thought it would. In addition to the Burrow Mountain popping corn, I've got some oil and some sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and strip the corn into this bowl. Now one seed will grow four to six ears on a stalk. That's not a lot of popcorn. I probably could have popped three ears like this, but I only had one, so that's what I'm working with. I'm gonna add the corn and the oil to the popper, give it a good coating, and then we'll get a fire going in the rocket stove. I'm actually gonna go for a medium-sized fire on this. I don't want it to be super blazing. I uh, just need to see how this thing reacts. Since you are watching the first time I've done this, so let's see what happens. So this is the new brick rocket stove. If you haven't seen the build video, I'm gonna put a link to it up here. I've built my fair share of concrete rocket stoves. This is my favorite. Primarily because fire bricks are designed for heat. They're doing what they were made to do. And concrete is just not made to resist heat, no matter how much perlite you put in it. That said, concrete is still a cheap option for making a rocket stove and it does pretty well. As with any burn I do on my rocket stove I want to have enough fuel on hand for the whole burn before I start the fire just so I don't have to run and go find wood. There's no dial on a rocket stove for heat so you have to control the heat by the amount of fuel that you give it. Some of this wood is still a little green but it will burn fine once this thing gets going. All right, I'm optimistic that this is enough wood for this particular burn. I'm gonna light this stove using one of my little rocket booster fire starters, which is a mixture of sawdust and soy wax, and it's designed to go with the Rocket King rocket stove, which I have designed and made, and it's on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description below. But this will help me get this thing started quickly. Flame is already starting to lean backwards as the draft kicks in. All right, the flames are reaching the bottom of the pot now. I can hear the rocket burn that roar and start turning this I can hear the oil starting to bubble give you a top-down look here the oil is hot and I'm beginning to hear a few pops I'm gonna add the sugar Happened a little faster than I thought it would. Probably should have got the sugar in there sooner so it could melt. It's actually stopped the popping of some of the kernels that weren't popped yet. So I'm going to keep going.
Now I'm listening for the popping to slow down and stop and I'm going to get it out quickly. Alright, I suspect that was maybe a little too much sugar. I'm seeing a little bit too much browning. Yeah, I think it's too wet with the sugar. Let's let it cool down. It doesn't smell burnt though. Maybe a little caramelized. I didn't use a whole lot of the wood. Um, not as much as I thought I would. Pun intended. And I think I, if I had had probably another two-thirds popcorn, it would have been a better amount for that batch. Since I've got a lot of wood left here, I'm going to crank this thing up and see how high I can get it to go. I let the fire go out and had to restart it. A little hard to see the flames coming out the top here while it's in the sunlight. It looks like about two feet out the top. Definitely hear the rocket. I'm gonna have to raise my heat shield a little bit. That'll boil the pot of water. Although this fire would have been way too hot for that popcorn. <laughs> so in the end, I ended up with caramel corn instead of uh, kettle corn. Which is good because I actually like caramel corn better. So a few things to think about for the next time I do this is less sugar, more popcorn, and don't try and make a video while you're popping popcorn on a rocket stove. That's pretty good. I'm not disappointed. I thought I might be disappointed. Anyway, I like bringing you guys along for the first ride not after I've perfected everything, just because I'm on a quest, I'm on a journey. This is fun, it's also a learning experience for me. So, got any suggestions for my popcorn technique? Leave it in the comments below. And as always, please like and share, that helps me here on YouTube, lets them know that you want to see more videos like this. And, if you haven't checked out the build video on the fire brick rocket stove, you can click the link right here. Or YouTube will also put another video up here that they think you might like more than that. Thanks for watching. Sorry I'm talking with my mouth full. Bad manners. See you next one.